This is the Redmi Note 11 S 5G, and while it is quite similar to the rest of the Redmi Note 11 phones, it most closely matches the specs of a phone which came out last year, the Poco M4 Pro 5G. So is this a meaningful refresh of these features, or is it just another rehash? I'm Will for GSM Arena, and let's find out in our full review. We've seen plenty of these Redmi Note 11 phones these days, and the Note 11 S 5G brings a very similar look. You get a curved back here which sparkles in the light. Like the Poco M4 Pro 5G, the back and frame are made of plastic, but even so, the phone doesn't feel cheap overall. Maybe what stands out most is the fancy looking camera bump, even though the cameras themselves are pretty typical for this price point. Compared to the 4G Redmi Note 11 S, the main cam here has a lower resolution. It's basically the same setup you'd get on the Poco M4 Pro 5G, plus a macro cam. Another difference from both of those models is that there's a different 13 megapixel selfie cam here. Besides those cameras and the overall design, you won't find much of a difference here compared to the Poco. The display of the phone is a 6.6 inch IPS LCD with a 1080p resolution and a fast 90Hz refresh rate. This provides a smoother swiping and scrolling experience than you'd get on a standard 60Hz panel. And the refresh rate is adaptive too, going down to 30Hz when idling to save energy. This panel is alright, it's got good sharpness at around 400ppi, and colors can be tuned to be pretty accurate if you fiddle with them in settings. It doesn't have those deep blacks you'd get on an AMOLED though, and even among LCDs, the contrast isn't the best around. And there's no HDR support here either. When it comes to max brightness, the Redmi Note 11 S 5G is about the same as the Poco M4 Pro 5G. We measured about 420 nits with the manual slider, and this can boost up to 510 nits in auto mode. For audio, there's a traditional headphone jack and stereo speakers. The top speaker doubles as the earpiece and also has a top firing grill. The speakers earn a score of good in our loudness test, and the sound quality is nice with no major issues. Storage is expandable on the Redmi Note 11 S 5G on top of the 64 or 128 gigs on board. And you will notice a red gasket on the SIM tray that's meant to prevent dust and water from getting in. That's a good sign, but for some reason, Xiaomi has dropped the IP ratings from official spec sheets of several phones, including this one, other recent Redmi's, and the Poco M4 Pro 5G. You can wake up and unlock the phone with the fingerprint reader which is built into the power button. It's blazing fast and accurate. The user interface of the Redmi Note 11 S 5G is nothing new. It's Xiaomi's MIUI 13 based on Android 11, the same that we've seen on all of their phones for the past year. It's feature packed and pretty straightforward. If you want to learn more about MIUI 13, you can check out our dedicated video. At the heart of the Redmi Note 11 S 5G is a MediaTek Dimensity 810 chipset, and the performance here is decent, but nothing special. What's funny is that the Poco M4 Pro 5G has the same chipset, and when we reviewed it last year, it was rather competitive for the price. But time marches on, and now the Note 11 S 5G trails behind many current rivals in both CPU and GPU tests. Still, it handles your everyday tasks without a hitch, and the thermal management here is great. The Redmi Note 11 S 5G has a 5000 mAh battery, just like the Poco. As you'd expect, battery life here is comparable, even actually a little better. The Redmi scored an endurance rating of 131 hours in our proprietary tests. The phone comes with a 33 watt charging adapter, and with it we were able to charge from 0 to 50% in half an hour. Not bad, but nothing special. And finally we have the camera quality. The Redmi Note 11 S 5G has a 50 megapixel main cam, an 8 megapixel ultra wide cam, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. During the day, photos from the main cam are solid for the class, with pleasant colors, wide dynamic range, and a good level of detail. The rendition of fine detail, like grass, does look a bit artificial though. Portraits come out decent, with good subject separation. You may see some blown highlights in difficult lighting situations, but the subject remains pretty well exposed. Photos from the ultra-wide cam don't have a ton of detail, and they're not the sharpest, but we do like the colors, the contrast, and the dynamic range. 2 megapixel macro close-ups are neat for their perspective, but don't provide much in terms of quality. They're low in detail, with muted colors and limited dynamic range. In low light, the performance from the main cam is alright. 
In brighter scenes, you get good detail and balanced exposure. In contrast to your scenes, you end up with less detail and really dark shadows. Our main concern is that the output is inconsistent. You can end up with very different results from a single scene. Night Mode addresses these issues. It improves the dynamic range quite a bit, especially in the shadows, and boosts the colors. Shots from the ultra-wide at night are soft and dark. It has to be a relatively well-lit scene in order to get a usable result. Selfies from the Redmi Note 11 S 5G are very good. There's a lot of detail, pleasing colors, and wide enough dynamic range. Video recording maxes out at 1080p resolution, and footage from the main cam is okay. It's soft, but dynamic range is decent and colors are saturated, but not exactly true to life. The ultra-wide cam's colors are more lifelike, but dynamic range is more limited, and these clips are generally soft. Both cameras have always-on electronic stabilization and is quite steady, without the focus hunting issues we've seen on other phones. So that's the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 S 5G. It brings good battery life and selfie quality and nice sounding stereo speakers, all for a pretty low price. There are a couple of issues here though, and the first is that there are a ton of Redmi Note 11 phones, and this one doesn't do too much to stand out. And the second problem is that this is basically the same phone as last year's Poco M4 Pro 5G, and by now there are competitors that pack even more value. So while the Note 11 S 5G is a solid budget mid-ranger, it's hard to find ourselves getting too excited about this one. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe and see you next time.